Hey Capricorn, hope you guys are all doing really well. This is going to be a general love reading for the first half of February 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Capricorn. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all the information for that in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed for general readings even if you are cross-watching for somebody else. All right, so let's see. Capricorn, what is going on? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. First couple weeks of February. So for the situation, we have temperance <clears throat> crossed by the world. Ooh, okay, so trying to close out a cycle that's not... That's not easy. That's the challenge here is to <clears throat> fully allow something to close out or to achieve some kind of a success when it comes to temperance. Okay, so first of all, this is Sagittarius energy. It could be referring to patience, um, but I'm mostly getting something very similar to what I was getting for um, Virgo, which is some kind of moderation, not allowing um, oneself to function from extremes like extreme emotions or extreme behaviors, just trying to find that middle ground. Um, we'll see more when we clarify. For the recent past, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so there was a, a moving away from something that was conflicting, uh, moving towards, towards peace, possibly even towards healing. For you, we have the Five of Swords as well as the Two of Cups. Okay, so there's a sense of betrayal here. A sense of betrayal for a love connection that you feel very, very strongly for. Let's see, for them, we have death and the fool. Yeah, definitely feeling a little bit similar to, to Virgo. Um, definitely let me know <laughs> if you're dealing with a Virgo for some of you. Um, we do have Scorpio showing up here in this person's energy as well. Um, also Aries. This person is going through some kind of an ending, but also kind of like stepping into a new beginning as well. It almost feels like testing the waters for something new, but at the same time um, processing an ending of maybe something else. Let's see, for the near future, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe a little bit of fluctuation or a little bit of having a hard time really balancing out everything. Maybe even like either multitasking or just really trying to balance out whatever that Temperance card is referring to from the beginning. And the message for you here is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so trusting the path. All right, let's see. I feel like there is some kind of a plan here. There is some kind of a... Almost like it's divinely orchestrated. That's what I'm getting with that Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is a path to healing as well. <clears throat> like somebody just getting on the right track. All right, let's see temperance in the world. <clears throat> All right, the Ten of Wands, the Empress, and the Two of Pentacles showing up again. Okay, so... Whatever this is, whatever this situation is that is trying to successfully close out, it's been something that has been um, dragging out, I feel, for like a very long time. And it's just gotten to the point where, okay, yeah, like it needs, it needs to go, like it needs to close out. There is, a, like I said, there, there is a bit of a struggle, but I actually see it, I actually see it still happening. It's just that it's in the process at the moment because the Empress is also about health um, or something healthy. It doesn't necessarily have to be physical health. Um, but there's definitely a sense of whatever this is that 
somebody is trying to fully like find that balance for or patience or um, middle ground, it's happening because yeah, because I, I, I see Empress as being the opposite of what I felt the situation is, right? Like functioning at extremes. Like the Empress is very centered. So it's, it's happening. It's just, um, it's still a little bit of a struggle, like really trying to find that, that balance at the moment. And this could even be, you know, um, something more specific in, in a relationship that you have with somebody here. Let's see the Six of Swords for the recent past. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Yeah, you know, I feel like somebody actually has made a decision here to move in the right direction, to move towards having more peace, a more healthy type of a lifestyle or, you know, thinking habits even. And there's a lot of determinism behind that. And that's why I feel like it is it is actually happening, like it is closing out. It, it's just that there might be some ups and downs, all right, along the way, but but it is happening. And this could even be you, right? Um, could be the other person, could be you. In some way, it does relate to a connection, all right, between two people here. Let's see the Five of Swords for you. Ooh, the Tower, the Four of Cups, and Death also showing up here for you, um, which we had we have down here for the other person that you're dealing with. So Scorpio showing up twice. Um, okay, Five of Swords, Death, the Tower, Four of Cups. There's a lot of disappointment here. There is something here that has happened or that is happening that is, wow, it's really just throwing things up in the air for you like it's a big deal whatever this is it's a it's a pretty big deal um you're either putting an end to this connection or maybe the other person has ended this connection maybe you both have either that or you're just going through a major transformation here Whatever the case, though, it's it's proving to be a little bit difficult for you. As I said, it, it's like you feel betrayed in some way. And because of that, you, you're feeling that tower. Like, <clears throat> like, with a huge sense of disappointment at the same time. Which is interesting because it feels quite different than, than the energy I was just talking about here for the, um, for the main situation. I mean, it could be that you are <clears throat> um, gradually closing out this cycle, but at, at this particular time, though, it's still feeling quite, quite difficult for you, you know, like, like something, something was destroyed. I don't know. <clears throat> or it could be the other person closing out a cycle. Let's see the Two of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. <clears throat> Whether you realize it or not, there is a lot of healing that is happening here for you. Especially in terms of, <clears throat> of another person here. And I feel like this healing is something new. So I don't know if this is something that you may have attempted to do in the past. But there's something different about it now. And like I said, you know, there is, um, you do feel a very strong connection with this person. This is somebody that you felt there was, um, <clears throat> that there was a lot of potential here with them. But I feel like at the moment, you're, you're actually healing from whatever it is that has happened here. And I feel like you actually need that time to kind of like rest and restore yourself. Because whatever, like I said, whatever you've gone through, it's it's pretty major. <clears throat> and if you guys can hear that, that's <laughs> that's manic snoring. Yeah. 
All right, so let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see death. And we have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. This person is definitely breaking free from something here. Um, <clears throat> there is an ending, a definite ending. It's not an easy one. Again, it, it's feeling kind of similar to Virgo. Whatever this ending is, it's really throwing them, I'm getting, in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Not in a negative way. I don't feel like it's anything that's going to be negative um, in terms of you. But it's, they're moving in the opposite direction here. <clears throat> and <clears throat> whatever that is, it's happening very quickly. If they're moving in the opposite direction from you, again, there's a there's a there's a reason for that. I, I'm not saying that they're trying to move away from you because I'm not really seeing that. I'm just seeing some huge ending that is actually freeing them from something that I feel they were meant to be free from. So, I mean, again, I don't know if that is you, but if it is, like, there's a reason for it. Let me see the full. Okay, so the Six of Swords showing up again. Um, the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, still moving in this new direction. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's towards healing and it's towards something really positive here. There's a lot of effort that is being put and a lot of focus on um, them actually moving towards love. But it's like it's feeling new. So when I say, so again, like if, if you feel like this person is coming towards you, them moving in the opposite direction, if this ending is referring to you, it's meaning like the, the opposite direction of some kind of some kind of a um, mental state that they were in before or some kind of um, behavior that they may have been engaged in. It's going to be different for all of you, but definitely this person is moving towards love. <clears throat> Let's see that Two of Pentacles coming up in the near future. Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. It's definitely feeling like there's a plan here. Um, <clears throat> there's some kind of a plan. It's, 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 again, it feels like there's a lot of ups and downs. But it's been set forth, like the first steps have already been taken. And there's this movement forward in a completely new direction, in a completely new way of being. I don't know if this is you or them. Um, And, you know, there is still a little way to go, but it's like, I feel like you're both already on, on the path that you need to be on. There's some kind of a plan here. It's been set into motion and there's some kind of, um, there's going to be a positive result here. And I know right now it's like you're going through this tower, so it, it might not feel like it because there's a lot of disappointment um, attached to you here. But there's a lot of healing that is coming out from that. Now, let's 
let's see this Knight of Pentacles. Maybe this will clear things up. <clears throat> The Six of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you know what? Whatever, there's <clears throat> there's this path, right, that, that I feel like you are on and that they are on. It's quite difficult at the moment. There is something that is being um, closed out, some kind of a lesson, some kind of a cycle, something that has been going on for quite some time. That, it's like the trajectory at the moment is locked because the seeds have already been planted. Like the first steps have already been taken. That plan is has already begun. It, it's already begun to take shape and form. In other words, there's already action that's taken based on this plan. So it's like now, it's just waiting for for the results to kind of unfold. And whatever that is, it's, it's going to be successful. It's going to be something that is going to be very, very positive for you, right? And it is leading up to this Ten of Pentacles, to a long-term commitment. And I feel like it's going to be like this very um, stable and secure type of a feeling to that. And again, I'm hearing, you know, have faith because there might be some insecurities that you're being faced with within your own self or um, from this connection or, you know, maybe just in general. So I'm getting really that the message here is to trust the path, trust the plan. All right, Capricorn. If this resonated... Um, yeah, I hope it made sense. Well, let's see. Let's see what the final message for you is. Keep getting two of them for the earth signs. All right. Let's see. We have number 36, which the magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. And number 27, resilience. Burn away the past. So yeah, take those as they make sense for you. And those are your messages, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.